Hello, this is Sausage Fingers, and welcome to the first in hopefully many videos. Right, the story is I want to start doing unboxings, tutorials, reviews. My kids want a little studio as well, so they can become part of the channel and they can do their own crazy little things, even if they're just playing at it. To that end, as you can see, I've got a lovely green screen behind me. I've got the audio set up just here. However, the audio is from my PC. I have got another little microphone, which I'm gonna do in another video, a lapel mic, I wanna see how that works. My lighting is bad. If you have a look, this is the best quality I can get from my green screen, and it is all because of lighting. I have actually ironed it, believe it or not, it's basically the cheapest green screen material you can get. It's the dodgy one that's about eight quid on, um, on Amazon and also you get these you get a couple of these you get some light bulbs and you get like a little bipod thing this thing here which I'm pointing to yeah you get all that with it now I want to turn this cheap thing into a good thing I have found out that I need these little boxes I don't even know what they're called soft boxes that's what they're called they're like 50 bucks or something like that, which is to me and my family is a lot of money, more than I am willing to spend. Now, I've had a look at them, I've been in the shop and I had a look and I think I can make my own using something like this. Now, I've been to Poundland or the dollar store if you like. So everything on this table, bar the, the video camera, that's not supposed to be there. That cost, this could cost me a pound each, pound, 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 pound. Um, um, yeah, that's all I bought. So I am going to, in essence, put a little light bulb in here, like so, make some reflective material inside, put a little cover over the top. And hopefully that will distribute the light behind me. I want a little soft light in front. Again, I've got a dollar store or Poundland 360 degree LED orb. I am using also LED light bulbs. They are, I think, six watt equivalent to 40 watt warm light. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wing it in proper sausage style and let's see how we get on. What could possibly go wrong? Let's make some holes in this malarkey here. Now, there is a nice predetermined hole in the middle for me. I need to get that in there. Bosh! Look, Bosh! Mmm, pretty hole! Mmm, now, I need some kind of reflective material to reflect the light and things. Mmm, I'm going to use... Oh, it's a good size. Yeah, baby, right, okay. With my finest measuring skills, I'm gonna go shiny side up. Yeah. Glue. Ooh, reflecty. Now, the reason I used LED bulbs is because they don't get hot, they don't emit any heat, so we shouldn't have a fire. Now, from a reflecty standpoint, if I want, if I was going to be a reflecty thing, I would like to be as reflecty as that. Yeah, one done. Right, let's have a little go more with this glue. I like this glue, it's good kit. Mm. Bosh, jobs are good then. And a little bit more tape delicious. I am a skilled professional. <laughs> 
God damn beautiful in it. Look at that. Look at that. Right, I'm gonna make an hole in it. Just a gentle prod. Oh, that's even better than the first hole. Look at that one. Perfect, I tell ya. It's coming together, people. Do you know what? I think this might just work. Right, now when these things came, they were like that. So what I've done is I unscrewed this little badger off of here. And all of that back bit is plastic. I don't want the metal bit touching the metal because I'll get fried every time I touch it. I just want the plastic bit touching the metal. And then I'll be a happy sausage and not a fried sausage. So as graceful as a thousand greased gazelles, I'm shoving that through that hole. Like that. They are. And then I'm going to screw that little bad boy back on there. Go on, son. Hey, off, we're on, we're on. We are on. I can even put my bulb in now. So I'll shove that in. Yeah. Right, I'm going to plug it in and see what the light is like. 999 is a number for the emergency services in the UK. Are we gonna get fire or no fire? No fire. Jesus, that is bright, isn't it? Whoa! Yeah, we need to soften that up. Oh, let's have a look at my green screen when it goes from this. Yeah, it's still hard, that light is really hard. Okay, now. Do you know what? That, I think, it's actually leaning on the clip at the back. And I think that's about the angle that I want it. That is doing its job. I'm, oh, I'm happy, I'm happy already. I think this is going to work, damn it. So, this is what we've got so far. I am pretty happy with that. As it goes, we just need to cover this over and see what happens. Paper tablecloths, mm. cheap as chips. Um. Get four in a pack. Mm. What do you think now? Mm. Let's switch it on and see. Now that looks good. Whoa. Just imagine how good this would look if I actually knew what I was doing. Mm. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, that's them both done. Now, I've been doing a quick test. This one has been switched on for the last half an hour. I'm trying to test if there's any of the heat. There is none of the heat. This is paper on the front. It is still cold to the touch. Yes. That is two things to me. One, I'm not going to set on fire. Although I like fire, I'm not going to set my whole house on fire, which is good. And two, heat equals energy equals money. So I am not using any, well, I am using some of the energy, but not all of the energy. This is very, very fuel efficient. Mm. Yes, a lot of light for a very little outlay. Um, my smart meter says all of my, all of my lights in my whole house are LED. And with all of my lights on in my whole house, including these, I am using about one pence an hour, which is, in US dollars is about 0.75 of a cent, which is damn economical as far as I'm concerned. Hmm, happy with that, yes. No fire, no monies. Hmm. I have got to find out where I put these things now. I have no idea. Uh, me off, me, me room is little. Yeah. They've got to be kind of in line stroke behind me. 
mm, let's work this out. Okay, now to me, don't worry that I'm orange because I can change my exposure and all that lot. Mm, it'll actually look quite evil. Yes, to me, um, I'm casting shadows upon myself, but I'm cut. Oh, there's a little shadow. Oh, I don't know. Where is that shadow? It's not coming from that light, and it's not coming from... It is coming from that light a little bit. Okay, I'm wondering if this will work. I don't know. I don't know. But it looks better than it did. The proof is in the pudding. Let's see if we can green screen this malarkey. And it's time for the news. I'm sat in a horrible chair because my PC chair doesn't fit behind here. But, as you can see, the chroma key is working. It is working great. I am very comfortable. I can do all my things and stuff on my desk. I will have another little webcam pointing at my stuff and things that I'm doing. Although, because I'm hyperactive, I'll probably completely sack the chair and end up standing up. The lights were easy to make. Easy to make. I have spent hours setting up the lighting in the room and the best way i found to do it in the end there is no natural lighting in this room there are no windows i am literally in a cave underneath my house it is the sausage cave there are these like led spotlights i ended up turning all the lights off bar the two lights that i've made i then got them as good as i could as a kind of an even distribution on the green screen itself then i turned the lights back on in the room that, yeah, that's the way I found to do it. And basically I've taken some bulbs out and stuff. So yeah, would I recommend these? Would I recommend buying these from new? No way, Jose, they were so easy to make. They cost me like, I don't know what, let's say five pound tops. What's that, like six, six and a half dollars? Easy to make, no risk of injury, death or fire. All in all, absolutely fantastic bit of kit. I am never going to move them again, though. It was a nightmare setting up the lighting. Yeah. To that end, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give us a like and a subscribe, and I will see you soon. Carol, it's back to you.